You guys ever feel like you've won the lottery sometimes? Well, in this case with the Skyline, I have secured something that only one person in the entire state of Washington can. And that is a special vanity plate. This is the previous old crusty one right here. Now we're gonna say goodbye to that. And hello to the JDM plate. Now this is real. This is, I know like the way that Washington laminates plates on the cars, you don't get like the 3D effect, but this is in fact a real plate that I will be running on my car and I've somehow secured the most holy three letters in all of Washington state for a car like this. Because I mean, that's the, that's the most perfect thing is that it's fitting. It's JDM, it's Japanese domestic market. I already got my tuna no crust, the, the holy plate frame that I've ran on this car basically the entire time. We even took photos with this plate frame in front of the actual tuna place down in SoCal with it. An interesting thing about Skylines is that they were never meant to have American plates on them because they were only sold in Japan, Australia, and the UK. So uh, it doesn't, I could only fit one bolt into either hole that they have over here, but one bolt is all you need. Dude, that doesn't look real. This looks like a show plate that you put on at little events that you're like, all right, I'm gonna just slap this on. That's literally why I have Velcro on the plate frame is because I have some, this literally, I would stick it on here, but uh, we don't need that anymore because this is cooler. All right, back at German Auto House once again, just for something simple this time. We got the bumper back on. Oh yeah. It actually looks like a car again. It does. And uh, you can still see the turbos. It's so cool that the uh, housings were finished in white because you definitely wouldn't be able to see them at all if they were in black. This is for all y'all that commented on the Instagram post that I should put the bumper back on. I really thought this was a normal thing these days that uh, if you know you have a turbo kit in the back that you could run bumperless to kind of display it. I always wanted to do that at least. But apparently there's a lot of people that either have just never seen that before and thought I was just ghetto running my car without it or they just they just don't like it even with knowing and they, they think it's ugly. So now you guys can be happy. Also, I can now drive the car in the rain again because we should have full fender liners. Uh, yep, full fender liners tucked all the way back. All that's protecting the air filters and stuff back there. So we should be good from the wet and we're one step closer to uh, getting this thing ready for Gold Rush Rally. <laughs> Boy, what you doing? Did you get DoorDash again? Maybe. All right, hold up. I gotta introduce you to something new. I gotta get this man on Factor. Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. Their team of gourmet chefs create each meal with only ingredients with integrity to make you feel your best all day long. It's summertime now. I know that most of y'all are too busy to cook, but you still wanna maintain your body and maintain eating healthy. So with Factor, you guys can skip going to the grocery store. You can skip cutting up and cooking the meal and you could skip the cleaning process of cooking meals but still get the flavor and nutritional quality you'll need yep i can eat that it's actually good let go all of factors fresh and never frozen meals can be ready in just two minutes so it doesn't eat up any of your time if you guys are calorie conscious you guys can try the delicious dietitian approved calorie smart meals with around less than 550 calories per serving or if you guys are like me and you need an extra boost this summer to support your wellness goals you guys can try the protein plus meals they'll get you 30 grams of protein or more per serving all of which will get right delivered to your door my personal favorite thing is the mango smoothie. I'm a big mango smoothie guy and honestly I'm gonna have a high bar for how good it tastes but it 100% delivers and man I wish I honestly had more of these now. So with everything said head over to factor75.com and use code jackultra50 to get 50% off your first factor box and your summer is about to get a whole lot more convenient. So we are back at Yours truly, Gorilla Mad here for another season of What Did Jack Do to His R8 for Gold Rush Rally. Now, I'm not gonna lie, it's like incredibly tough 
to top what we did last year. The multicolors, how loud it was, but then how creative it was, tying in the fact that the, the Audi is technically a Volkswagen and it's never been done. Like all these things added up. So whether or not this is outdoing it, that's gonna be up to opinion, but whether or not you may actually like it more, there's a possibility for that too. Um, I try and treat doing wraps for car rallies as like dressing up for Halloween. It's like you wanna, you wanna cosplay as something fun and you wanna be memorable and just kind of embrace the spirit of rallying because there's gonna be a gazillion other cars out there that are, that have something very vibrant and crazy loaded and wrapped onto their car. So uh, we stirred up something that's way more simple but it's still creative. I'm, I'm excited for it. Oh, baby. Yo, it just straight, it, it looks like what it's supposed to be. <laughs> this is so sick. We are the mailman now. And we have become Ultramotive playing on, yeah, the USPS mail carrier trucks out there. I just figured that this was a perfect theme because uh, we could play the pun on snail mail because we have snails, turbos on the back of the car. Um, on top of the fact that, you know, it's a white base platform, it's pretty easy to layer on top and do. Um, I haven't seen it done recently, even though it's, it's pretty iconic. I feel like everyone on the rally is gonna immediately know what it's based on or they've seen it. I mean, if you're an American, you're gonna know this is like the American male. So you're gonna know exactly what it is. And we are in fact doing a car carrier. We're bringing back the ski box um, just because those of you who've been following the content will realize that there is no space in the front anymore. We're gonna need as much space as we can get. So he's just finishing this up right here. I'm curious to see how this will look once we mount it right on top of the car, but it was tough finding like picking out vinyl because this car's paint color is called Suzuka Gray. It's like this off-white, darker gray pearl. It's not an easy color to match whatsoever, but I feel like we actually, it looks eye to eye, it looks perfect from here. Oh, this looks so cool. Honestly, this is like, this is the dopest one you've done. <laughs> Thanks, man. I mean, he's biased. He just spent all day working on this, so <laughs> now he gets to just finally see it complete. But like, oh dude, I mean, we come over here, like we personalize the logos, so. This actually turned out so well, like seeing a little turbo integrated in there. I love this, dude. It's so simple, but like people are, people will flip about it. Like, yeah, it's, it's almost too cool. iconic in that like all you need to see is just the stripes. Like I could look at the car right now without even seeing the logo or any of the other stuff and just seeing these two stripes on a white base platform, that's the freaking USPS mail truck right there. Putting the cherry on top, quite literally. <laughs> Dang, it's like literally the same color. <laughs> it's like you can only tell like how this color is slightly metallic and then this is flat, yeah. but uh, it, it matches pretty good. <laughs> be the fastest male in the West. <laughs> it's already at home in front of the mailboxes. That's dope. <laughs> Dude, but like, if you didn't have the roof box, it would look so boring. I'm just you gonna think? be honest. You <laughs> really think? Yeah, yeah. I, guess, I guess the roof would, box like would, totally it, completes it. It adds so much character. Yeah. Like, no, it really does. And it's perfect because this wasn't like a, I mean, it was a choice, but it wasn't really a choice. We got basically half of our room. I can put like some towels, like clothes and stuff. But yeah, we got the water tank for cooling the turbos and then they have these lines. There's a whole pump down there. You definitely don't wanna like mess up one of those fittings. Yeah, there's not much 
we have to work with up in here. So now we have good amounts of space. Fucking sus. <laughs> you just see the URL? <laughs> yeah, I thought it would be a fun play because, I mean, it is www.usps that we'll just turn it into our own thing. You guys can see if that's a real website. I've never checked. It probably but, uh, is. Yeah, it probably is. But yeah, we got that. We got some send it's here and there. It's just cool. If you're following this on the rally, this is what you're gonna see everywhere. Which is, is this like, gonna be like a merch line? Oh uh, yeah, we're, we're we got some we got some shirts coming. You guys wait. The freaking Ultramotive snail mail is gonna be on some t-shirts coming near you. No, this is perfect. This is perfect because this was much cheaper and easier to layer on than a full car wrap. Also, my biggest pro is that. I don't have to roll out of the, the place and roll onto the rally looking like I'm in some child's arts and crafts project like last year. This time my car is like in theme, but it still looks really clean. I mean, some people may not like the box, but you know, we here, we love the box. And overall, the car still gets to look like how it's more to my taste, like how I get to have the TEs in a finish that I want. I still get to have my color overall that I like that, that gets to say on the R8. I don't have to be as like embarrassed, I guess I can say, to drive this around as I was driving this multicolored white blocky wheel car this last year. This car represents who you are. Yeah, yeah, because of that. San Diego, Las Vegas, Sedona, Vail, Colorado, uh, Big Sky, Quarter Lane, all these, all these places were coming. Quarter Lane, Idaho is Eastern Washington. It's literally on the border of there. So I, after we get to the finish line, I'm just driving her home. <laughs> It's cool how like all cars have a little livery. Like this has the little livery stripes and then the cotton candy machine, obviously has got a lot going on. Sure. But now this adds into the equation and then even the Exorcist back there has the Hennessy stripes. So it's cool. It's like they all actually really match together because they all have some personalization added on top. Shout out whoever the first person that's gonna recreate this in Horizon 5 is gonna be. 